citizens of Trinidad and Tobago, it's time to positively influence or sway. The House of Mercy New Testament Church of God at number 9 Beirut in Marabella presents the program, Building a Nation, Advancing the Kingdom. Heard every Friday at 2.45 p.m. Right here on Isaac 98.1 FM, The Promise. Join Dr. Nizam Joshua Hussein, who will challenge us to be different and make a difference. You can visit House of Mercy New Testament Church of God at number 9 Beirut in Marabella for their morning worship and children's church service from 8 a.m. and prayer meeting every Thursday at 7 p.m. For prayer, counseling, and more information, please call 686-0156. Now, let the Word of God work through us. 2017, the year of God's favor. Expect great things Attempt greetings, welcome, and good afternoon. We want to continue with last week's message, Building a Nation, Advancing the Kingdom. Reading from Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 4 to 7. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee, and before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and ordained their prophet unto the nations. Then said I, Ah, Lord, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Last week we discussed the call of God upon Jeremiah's life to become a nation builder and to advance the cause and the kingdom of God. Jeremiah's initial response was one of excuses, but later answered the call of God and impacted his nation and generation with the word of God. Verse 6 again, it says, Then said I, our Lord, behold, I cannot speak for I am a child. When we look at Jeremiah, he had every excuse ready when God called him to be a prophet. His excuses are often our excuses for not heeding God's voice when he calls. In the Christian world, we find all sorts of, of excuses not to obey the voice of God. It is the preacher's job. It is not my gift. I've already served. Let someone else do it. I am too busy. I am too tired. I am too old. I am too young. I am too poor. I am too rich. It has been said excuses are tools of the incompetent. And those who specialize in them seldom go far. Benjamin Franklin wrote, He that is good for making excuses is seldom good for anything else. Today we want to look at some of the excuses that people make. And uh, as it relates to Jeremiah also, and the promises God gave to Jeremiah to counteract uh, these excuses. So the first excuse, the task is demanding. The task is hard, is rough, is tough. Jeremiah was called to be a prophet to the nation, not a priest like his father and grandfather. A prophet was chosen and authorized by God to speak for God and to declare the word of God to the people. We often think of prophets as people who can tell the future but a prophet spoke messages to the present that had future ramifications they were both foretellers more than they were foretellers exposing the people's sin and calling them back to their covenant responsibilities before god being a prophet was more demanding than serving as a priest the priest's duties were predictable. Everything was written down in the law. But for the prophet, the prophet never knew from one day to the next what the Lord will call him to do or say. The priest worked primarily to preserve the past. The prophet labored to change the present so the nation would have a future. So when we look at the call of God upon Jeremiah, 
he said uh, it was a demanding task the task is indeed demanding god may assign you a demanding task but his call upon our lives will keep us going when we don't want to go and sometime when we are ready to quit uh, let's remember who is calling us it's almighty God we have the promise of God's purpose he said I've chosen you before I formed you in the womb and I have set you apart before you were born verse 5 the verb know has much more meaning than simply being aware of it carries the idea of recognition of the word and the purpose of him who is known God knows us therefore he has called us God knew Jeremiah, chose Jeremiah, and appointed Jeremiah. He was known by name, handpicked by God, and commissioned to serve. Those acts give one a great sense of purpose. The promise of God's purpose allows us to let go of our own plans and to receive God's plan without fear. Like Jeremiah, we need to accept that our future is not our own. We are God's. We are, we are, he has a distinct plan and purpose for our lives. So if you are one of those who are making the excuse, it's tough, it's hard, it's rough. God said, my purpose shall prevail. Look at the purpose of God and stop making excuses. The second excuse we tend to make is that my talent is inadequate. Verse 6, he says, But I protested, Oh no, Lord, look, I don't know how to speak since I am only a child. Jeremiah felt inadequate as a public speaker. And this was the same excuse shared by Moses in Exodus 4 and 10. When I think about my own life, when I first felt the call of God upon my life, like Jeremiah, I felt inadequate. I look at myself, a preacher, me a preacher, I had no high school education, nothing uh, 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 that was there to encourage me to be a preacher except for the, the call of God. But I've learned over the years that the person most aware of his own inadequacies is usually the person most dependent on God's sufficiency. Amen. My inadequacy has caused me to rely upon God. His strength is made perfect in my weakness. His glory is manifested through my inadequacies because it's not about me. It's not by might. It's not by power, but by the Spirit of God. Our talent may be inadequate, but God always equips those whom He calls. We have the the promise not only of God's purpose but we have the promise of God's provision the Bible said God reached out his hand and touch the mouth of Jeremiah and fill his mouth with the word what you need today is a touch not just a purifying touch but a touch that will inspire us and empower us to do the will of God Another excuse we tend to make is that the time is not right. Jeremiah said, I am a child. Most scholars believe that Jeremiah was around 20 to 25 at the time of his call. His rely is not so much on revealing his age as much as his deep sense of immaturity. He felt inferior, inexperienced, intimidated by the size of the task to which God was summoning him. But God was calling him. God's call may come at an opportune time, but he never sent forth his servants alone. He said, he has promised us, not with only with purpose and provision, but he has promised us his 
presence. Then the Lord said unto me, Do not say that I am a child, for I will go with you. You are not alone. God said He will never leave us nor forsake us. The time is now to impact our nation, to build a nation, to advance the kingdom of God. It's not next week or next month or next year. We got to make time for God and do it now in Jesus' name. And as you go forth now, God will give you the power. God will give you the anointing. God will give you the ability to go forth and to impact your nation, impact your generation with the kingdom of God. Let's stop making ex excuses. Another excuses, excuse we make is, do I have to go now? But the time is now. Now is the appointed time. Don't say I'll do it tomorrow. Tomorrow will never come. You got to get ready to stand up and to declare the righteousness of God in the land of the living. When now God has given us life now. You have to go now. Jesus said to go into all the world and preach the gospel. We got to do it now. Trinidad is facing difficult times and we need to preach the good news now. Not next week, not next day, but we got to do it today. Today, today, God is calling us. And as we go, as we obey God, amen, God said he will not only fill us with his purpose Give us his provision, walk with us uh, with his presence, uh, but he will empower us. Uh, he will give us his anointing and you shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you and you shall become what witnesses uh, in uh, Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and to the uttermost part. Stop making excuses uh, that you are too busy. Start now where you are in your Jerusalem, in your home in your family, in your community. Preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. Answer the call of God and He will fulfill His purpose in you. He will equip you. He will enable you. He will protect you. He will accompany you. Amen. Praise God. So let's stop making excuses and start building a nation by advancing the kingdom of God. The call of God is upon your life. Amen. Answer that call. Jeremiah's initial response is, I cannot. But then the Lord touched him. And I pray today that the Lord will touch you in Jesus' name. That the Lord will touch your hands. That the Lord will touch your feet. That the Lord will touch your heart. That the Lord will touch your mind. That the Lord will touch your body that the Lord will touch your spirit and you will rise up from where you are we will rise up from where we are let the church arise let the people of God arise now hallelujah arise and shine for your light has come and let the glory of God risen upon us let's build a nation and advance the kingdom of God. We invite you to join us 8 a.m. on Sunday for our worship service. We would like to invite you to a three-night crusade of prayer and miracles on Seaview Drive Marabella on Thursday 19th, Friday 20th at 7 p.m. And Saturday evening, 4 p.m., children's ministry, and 6 p.m., the final night of our crusade. For more information, please call us 6860156. So join us from Thursday the 19th to Saturday the 21st, three nights of powerful crusade in Jesus' name. God bless you. Have a great day. Amen. Citizens of Trinidad and Tobago, it's time to positively influence our sphere. The House of Mercy New Testament Church of God at number 9 Beirut in Marabella presents the program. 
Building a nation, advancing the kingdom. Heard every Friday at 2.45 p.m. Right here on Isaac 98.1 FM, The Promise. Join Dr. Nizam Joshua Hussein, who will challenge us to be different and make a difference. You can visit House of Mercy, New Testament Church of God, at number 9 Bay Road in Marvella for their morning worship and children's church service from 8 a.m. and prayer meetings every Thursday at 7 p.m. For prayer, counseling, and more information, please call 686-0156. Now, let the Word of God work through us. Through us.